I'm showing you how easily you can make gluten-free baked chocolate donuts with a spooky yet stylish white spiderweb on top. My healthier chocolate donuts are made gluten-free with almond and tapioca flour. They're naturally sweetened with maple syrup and your choice of organic white and dark chocolate chips. I'm showing you the simplest technique for adding a white chocolate spiderweb on top. These irresistible donuts couldn't be any easier to make, and I promise everyone will devour these regardless of whether or not they have a gluten allergy. We're gonna begin by making a very simple donut batter by adding our wet ingredients, which includes two eggs, a fourth a cup of unsweetened applesauce, a fourth a cup of maple syrup, three tablespoons of coconut oil, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a fourth a teaspoon of almond extract. I just used the lid. And then we're gonna quickly mix these together until well combined. And next we'll add our dry ingredients, which includes one and a half cups of almond flour, half a cup of tapioca flour, a fourth a cup of cocoa powder, and then I have half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we'll just whisk these together until well combined. And it would help if I could keep all the batter in the bowl. And to enhance the chocolate flavor, I'll add a third cup of mini chocolate chips. And my favorite are the Enjoy Life brand. I'll give that a quick stir. And for your donut mold, you could either use a metal donut pan or you could use a silicone tray. I prefer the silicone trays because of how easy it is to pop them out. And I like these in particular because they have an extra tall little donut shaft, which keeps your donut hole open. You will want to generously spray your donut mold so that those donuts pop out easily. I'm going to use a coconut oil spray because it matches the coconut oil that's already in our batter. And then to scoop in our donut batter, I'm just using this third cup batter scoop. And I'm just gonna fill it about two thirds of the way full and then just carefully dump my batter into the mold. And you'll want to fill each mold almost to the top. Now, once you've scooped out all your donut batter, you can go back in with a spoon and just kind of help evenly distribute it if needed. So I'm just gonna borrow a little bit of batter from some that have more for some that have a little less. They don't mind sharing. And then you can just give your tray a couple taps to help spread out the batter. So now these are ready to go into a 350 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes or until your toothpick comes out clean. Well, these baked for 18 minutes and then I allowed them to cool on my counter for about 20. And you can see how easily they come right out of these silicone donut molds. Those are so cute. <laughs> this never gets old. To melt the chocolate for the top of our donuts, we're gonna start with half a cup of your favorite chocolate chips. And then we're going to add one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of coconut oil. And then I'm gonna microwave this in 25 second intervals until it's really smooth and melted. So after the first 25 seconds, I've taken the bowl out of the microwave and then I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. As you can see, the chocolate chips are not fully melted yet, but we still want to stir them up before putting them back into the microwave for another 25 second interval. After our second 25 second interval, you can see that the chocolate is totally melted and now we're just gonna stir it until it's nice and smooth. Well, our dark chocolate is nice and smooth and so now we can do the same thing to our white chocolate. And I'm just using some white chocolate melting wafers but you could also use white chocolate chips. I've just added a fourth a cup of chocolate wafers to a microwave safe bowl. Then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of coconut oil. Now I found that white chocolate is a little bit more sensitive than dark chocolate, so I'm gonna microwave this in 20 second intervals, stirring in between until it's nice and melted. If you overheat the chocolate, it can become really thick and kind of dry. So after 20 seconds in the microwave, I'm just giving my white wafers a quick stir, and then I'm gonna put them back in the microwave for an additional 20 seconds. So after two intervals of 20 seconds, our white chocolate is just about there. So I'm just going to stir it here in the bowl and let it continue to melt until it's nice and smooth and creamy. A really simple hack for being able to pipe the white chocolate onto the top of our donuts is to just use a little snack bag. So I'm just gonna spread this bag open over a jar and poke the corner down in. And then I'm going to pour in our white chocolate and then I'll carefully press out excess air. And then in the bottom corner, I'm just gonna snip off a really small triangle so that we can have a really fine stream of chocolate. We have our dark chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate melted and ready, as well as our white chocolate in our bag ready to pipe. So now we can decorate the top of our donuts. So you'll just simply take one of your donuts and then turn it upside down and dip it down into your chocolate and lift it up. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second one. 
To get our white spider web on top, we're gonna start by piping on the white chocolate on the very top center of the donut. And we're just gonna make one complete circle. And then we can go back and make an additional circle that's just slightly smaller than the first one, as well as another circle that's slightly larger. I'm gonna take my bag and just carefully drizzle a ring of chocolate right around the middle. Perfect. And then I'll make a second ring that's just inside the first one. And then a third ring that's just to the outside. And these do not have to look perfect because what spider web has ever been perfectly symmetrical? So now we'll take a toothpick and start from the inside and drag to the outside. So to make this really easy, we're just going to start here in the middle, drag one line, and then we're gonna drag a second on the opposite side. And then now we can visually go in half the other way and make one drag out and another drag out on the opposite side. Now we have four sections. So now we can just divide each of our four sections in half by dragging from the center out, center out, and then go all the way around. So now we have this eight section spider web that only required a little bit of math. And each donut will be a unique piece of art, just like real spider webs. Now, if you get to the end of your chocolate and it's not deep enough to keep dipping your donuts, you can go ahead and just take a spoon and then drizzle the chocolate right over the donut. And this will give you a little bit more of a rustic look as you just kind of spread it. And then you'll get these really fun drips that will come down on either side. But I promise it will taste just as delicious. Now, if you'd like to make it even spookier, you can add a spider to your spider web. I just have some fun little plastic spiders that you can just poke right into the top. This will make it even more irresistible to any youngster. Now you'll want to allow your chocolate to set and you can either leave them out on your counter or if you're impatient like me, you can just put one in the freezer for a couple minutes and then it will set. And then it's perfect for eating. <laughs> that is so yummy. Make sure I don't have any chocolate in my teeth. Mm. This donut just has a light fluffy texture with the perfect amount of chocolate. And then getting that little bit of crunch that comes in from that chocolate shell on top is super delicious. And I consider it satisfyingly sweet without being overpoweringly sweet. And with these clean natural ingredients, you're gonna feel just as good after you eat it. But of course it is a treat, so you will need to use some moderation. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today in my kitchen to make these fun spiderweb donuts. I've included a link to the full recipe in the video description below, which takes you to my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know someone else who you think would love to have a healthier gluten-free donut, please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.